Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to August of 2022. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Taurus, that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. Also keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. So yes, it is being channeled and released to you in August, the month of August of 2022. But this really can resonate for you at any time. Yes, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe these if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. Especially if since you are looking, if you are looking for more messages for your situation, getting in involved especially by leaving me a comment but also like um subscribing helps Le leaving a comment is really excellent though because it helps me to connect with you physically even if you don't have a picture of your actual self on your profile your energy is in that comment so that helps me pick up on it yeah so if you feel so inclined let me know in the comment section how this is resonating with you also if you would like a personal reading with me i am available for that check the information in the description box below where i, I list the readings that i offer and my email address shoot me an email let me know you're interested and i will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up yeah all right taurus sun moon rising and north node let's get into this i'm gonna give this Spirit totally just said five more shuffles. One. All right. Um, the Taurus, I'm seeing yellow energy for you. That's two. You're taking action some way. It, I am hearing a decision-making process, but I'm also wondering if that's just... This is three. This is carry, If that's carryover from the Aries reading. Of course, you guys are right next to each other, so you could resonate. You could also have an Aries Taurus placement. This is four. Um, but I am hearing a decision-making process for you, and I'm seeing yellow energy, which would be your solar plexus. This is five, which would be your solar plexus and... Um, you know, your sense of will, your sense of drive and action taking. I really feel like you're taking a strong level of action here in your life at this time, Aries, not Aries, excuse me, Taurus. I was guided to just look at the bottom of the deck here and you do have death oh, as a somewhat of an overall energy. Spirit is saying this is, ooh, Spirit is saying this is an overall energy for you. But see, this is the thing, Taurus. I feel like this is why you're taking this new action or taking some sort of action in a new way you've gone through a big transformation deep transformation in terms of your sense of self is what i'm hearing again this is very similar to the aries reading you might be on the cusp of aries and taurus um you might resonate with taurus and in tropical astrology but also or you might be a taurus in tropical astrology but then in sidereal astrology at least true sidereal astrology which is what i officially practice here on this channel you actually, you might be an Aries, uh, but take it as it resonates. Maybe you have Aries and Taurus placements, sun, moon, rising, north node somewhere. Okay. Um, the action orientation towards a decision-making process and that, what it feels like here, Taurus, is that uh, that decision-making process is heavily aligned with and or heavily shaped by the personal transformation that you have recently gone through. See, the difference between you and Aries is that Aries feels like they're still kind of going through this transformation a little bit. You, Taurus, seem to have come out on the other side of it, and now you're taking action in a different way because of that. Okay, show us what's going on for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for the month of August of 2022. What messages do we have for Taurus, please, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Okay, so first card you have here is the Ten of Cups. It's upright, but then the Queen of Wands is reversed, and then the Ace of Pentacles is reversed. And, ooh, okay, and then you have the Five of Wands as your overall energy. All right, so there you go. This actually came out for Aries as well. Not necessarily as their overall energy, um, but it did come out for them. Okay, so Taurus. Definitely a decision-making process for you right now. Definitely something you need to be working out or aligning, uh, coming into alignment with. This is definitely internal, uh, five of wands. But for you here, 
So Taurus, you've gone through this transformation represented by death, which was at the bottom of the deck initially. And, and like I said, it feels like you've sufficiently come, made it through this transformation. And now you're standing in this new place or this new sense of self in, and, and, and are making a, re, a decision in relation to how it is you want to move forward. You are starting you with the 10 of cups here upright which is good the ten of cups upright in this situation for you taurus is representing your sense of uh, uh, sense of what spirit they are saying self-awareness but really what i'm getting from this ten of cups is um a new a greater sense of happiness or maybe what would make you happy at this time now that you have um a greater sense of self-awareness. And so because of that, you have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is representing you taking action in a new way or you going for something new, you planting a new seed that would ultimately grow up and develop into the Ten of Pentacles, which would be whatever new it is that you want to grow and develop in your life. But the Queen of Wands is reversed also. The Queen of Wands is representing your alignment with this. So what I feel like here, Taurus, in this decision-making process that you are going through right now, what it is you are doing, or at least what it is you are focusing on, what it is you are aligning or working out, working the kinks out of, is it, it's in relation to what it is what it would be your personal sense of happiness, Ten of Cups, at this moment in your life. So it feels like the action you are taking right now is figuring out what it is you want to be in alignment with, queen of wands energetically speaking uh what it is you want to be aligned with that you help that you have in and then from there it gravitates towards you from which then you can take uh new action um you are working out what it is you want to be in alignment with to receive that which you are desiring at this time this ace of pentacles could represent an offer or something coming into your life, a new opportunity coming into your life that you can then take even more further action towards in terms of developing it in some sort of physical way with the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So right now, at least for the moment of this reading, um, or at right now for this moment in this reading, your action, the action orientation or the action you are taking is working out what it is you wanna be in alignment with now in relation to what is a truer sense of your 10 of cups in relation to the personal sense of self that you have come to, the personal sense of self-awareness that you have come to at this moment in your life, in your journey of expansion okay beautiful let's dive deeper i want to look at the queen of wands reversed first now recognize guys this queen of wands doesn't have anything to do with gender okay this is energy this is what she as the queen of wands represents and the queen of wands represents being magnetic getting yourself into energetic alignment with that which you would you wish to receive in your life so male or female you could definitely be going through this right now and then later on be taking action with the king of wands in terms of having what it is that you want an opportunity for to receive what it is that you want being presented to you so that you can then be the king of wands and take action towards it okay but let's talk about what it is you are working on being in alignment here. What is this Queen of Wands in reverse for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, Police Spirit? What is the King, Queen of Wands in reverse for Taurus? That's enough right there. Wow. Okay. More energy, just like Aries. You do have this King of Cups here that came out for Aries. You also have the Magician here that came out for Aries with the Knight of Swords that also came out for Aries. Okay. That's interesting. The Magician, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Cups. Overall energy. Wow. All right. This is very similar to the Aries reading. Not going to lie. And you guys watched me. I was shuffling while I was giving you the intro to the video and then Spirit said, give it five more shuffles, okay? So this has been, so f and I shuffled before I even started recording for your reading in between yours and Aries reading. So this is definitely a well-shuffled deck, okay? This is similar energies. Um, again, you might be on the cusp of Aries. You might share Aries Taurus placements, majorly sun, moon, rising, north node somewhere. Or like I said, you might be a Taurus in tropical, but an Aries in true sidereal. Okay, take it as it resonates. And even still, even like definitely go watch that Aries reading if this is resonate for, reading, resonating for you in that way. But even still, you might want to just go watch that Aries reading anyway, because it may still help you regardless. All right. 
But overall energy for you here is the Four of Cups. Obviously, there is some sense of not being in alignment with something any longer or not feeling fulfilled with something any longer. Obviously, we've been talking about this the whole time. So what the Queen of Wands reversed is representing here is you fighting your way towards getting into alignment or getting into alignment with your heart or what it is you want emotionally or fighting your way towards getting into some sort of greater sense of being the magician or being the master manifester in your life. And this is heavily influenced by your heart chakra, um, your emotions, okay, King of Cups, but also the King of Cups is representing you being emotionally strong, stable, sturdy enough to weather the storm of this realignment process. Because yes, this could actually get quite choppy, okay? Especially if you're having to re- align belief systems or inner realities to help you reflect more of what it is you want to be attracting into your life right now, that can get messy, okay? That can seem like some sort of internal emotional storm. But the good thing about this Aries, uh, not Aries, I'm sorry, Taurus, the good thing about this Taurus is that you have this King of Cups here. So this King of Cups, whether you recognize it or want to believe it right now or not, you have the emotional stability and maturity to withstand or weather that storm, you know, the weather the storm of the realignment process is what Spirit is saying, okay? Beautiful, Taurus. I love this for you. Let's continue. Show us the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for my Taurans, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, please, Spirit? First of all, I want to say, Taurus, that I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity that is, in fact, coming to you. And it's, uh, and it is, in, you're working on getting in alignment with this. It's very much, whatever this is that comes towards you in the near future is very much related to how you have, you, how you have and or are realigning yourself in terms of your point of attraction at this time, okay? So I definitely feel like this Ace of Pentacles is representing a new opportunity or a new offer or a new chance to build something or grow something or develop something in the near future coming towards you in relation to what it is, how it, what it is the Queen of Wands would represent for you, okay? Ace of Pentacles reversed for Taurus. Ace of Pentacles reversed for Taurus, please. Woo, all right. Okay, overall energy here, you do have judgment. All right, so this is a judgment call. This is a call in terms of what would serve your highest good. There are a lot of cards here. You do have the moon, uh, which is reversed, okay? With that, you have the queen of swords reversed. Ooh, all right. And then you have the lovers, beautiful, the six of wands and the six of pentacles. All right. The moon and the queen of swords reversed are kind of feeling like past energies. Past ways that you may have been using a level of discernment to hold yourself back. There is a level of traditionalism that is coming through here. Again, this, ener this energy feels very similar to Aries, okay? And um, the Hierophant did in fact come out for Aries. Um, and that's kind of what I'm feeling like here for you, Taurus. Now you would be represented by the, the Hierophant technically in terms of the Tarot. But what I'm feeling for you, Taurus, is in terms of this Hierophant energy, which it's not here yet, but that's that's the image that I'm seeing in my head. And again, it's very similar to the Aries reading. But the Hierophant for you um, represents something that you may have been really comfortable with or a level of conditioning or societal social understanding or standings that resonated for you at some point. Or I feel like you were just able to accept this much easier than others. The, uh, the, again, a level of traditionalism, which is very much indicative of your energy, Taurus. You are a fixed sign. You are an earth sign. You are very much keeping the trajectory of what is going on, what has been, you know, st very status quo type of energies. But with that, said you have the moon and the queen of swords in reverse this queen of swords is representing you blatantly just being like nope it is what it is or this is how they say it is and that's just the way it's going to be okay but the place that you were coming from in terms of that was illusionary in some way and either it just wasn't true or at least it didn't have 
to be true, okay? And it seems that that may have been blocking a new reality or a new opportunity, but in terms of this new opportunity, new reality, it looks like you're giving that up or you're releasing that sense of staunch, I'm hearing staunch traditionalism, okay? In whatever way that is for you, take it as it resonates. It could be literal, it could be figurative, okay? It's, it's a general reading, take it as it resonates. But with that said, we're going from blatant, I don't care what anyone else says about it. This is the way it's supposed to be, or this is the way it's been. So this is how it's going to be. Queen of Swords, lacking in a level of objectivity. Okay. But now it seems like that's shifting because you're going from that to the lovers, which ultimately is your personal right to choose, your personal right to free will, Taurus. Okay. So it feels like some of you are giving up a level of staunch conservatism, however that resonates for you. I mean, you may be one of the most radical people in your in your cycle or in your circle, I'm sorry, in your circle, but it seems that you might be giving that up for your sense of personal right to choose. And that is in fact a victory, six of wands, six of pentacles, because ultimately it's going to bring a victory into your life in terms of a level of greater or a sense of greater reciprocity because what it is you seem to be working on getting in alignment with queen of wands that will ultimately bring you a new offer or a new reality or the start of a new reality the ace of pentacles will be in greater alignment with what is of your highest good or what is ultimately best for you your divine right towards uh um free will okay the lovers and that ultimately will bring greater reciprocity into your life I, i'm also hearing a greater sense of equilibrium six of pentacles okay it's a judgment call the judgment is a uh, judgment is at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy in terms of clarifying this ace of pentacles reversed and that judgment call feels very much it's unique to you i mean god source creator the universe however you want to describe it made us unique individuals for a very specific reason and it feels like taurus you are allowing yourself to embrace that sense of uniqueness in greater levels now in your life that are ultimately going to bring you greater happiness greater reciprocity greater sense of fulfillment okay excellent let's look at that then what is this ten of cups for my taurus sun moon rising and north node please spirit clarify the ten of cups for taurus First, first card out is death, Taurus, but it is in reverse. As you can see, I tried, to, I tried to turn it over and it flipped in reverse, but it needs to be in reverse because you have sufficiently gone through this transformation, Taurus, which is leading you to a greater sense of at least, at the very least, an awareness of what would be a greater level of emotional fulfillment for you, okay? Clarify the 10 of cups for Taurus, please, Spirit. Okay. 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 You have the world in reverse. Excellent. This is another really good energy. The page of swords, the knight of cups, and then the queen of pentacles. Wow. Overall energy for you, Taurus, is justice. Bam. Okay. So first of all, it seems that you have gone, part of what is influencing this change for you, Taurus, is understanding or having an under greater understanding of your value, uh, what it is you bring to the table, what it is that you, what, are, what makes you personally unique. Actually, that's very interesting. That's interesting, Taurus. I've never actually read or seen the Queen of Pentacles come out in that way. But it makes perfect sense because um, what would help you get to that place of understanding what makes you uniquely you would would necessitate you actually honoring what it is you bring to the table. This could be your unique talents. This could be what uniquely makes you happy, what, you, what uniquely resonates for you as an individual. The reason why this is coming through in this way is because this transformation process, this closing out of a life cycle for you, the death and the world in reverse, 
is translating into you having a greater sense of self-respect or awareness of what it is you bring to the table, what it is that would nurture you, what it is that you would require, um, holding respect for that or at least allowing yourself to place greater value in that for you. And as a result, you are now seeking, Page of Swords, ways for you to move forward in terms of expressing this level of uniqueness or what is within your heart or what it is you truly desire. Your heart is leading the way. Knight of Cups and cognitively, mentally, you are searching for the opportunities in order to express that, in order to move forward with that, in order to ultimately manifest that, okay? And there's definitely a great level of justice that's coming into your life. Justice is the overall energy here, Taurus. I feel like for some of you, or maybe for many of you, the justice card represents your life actually balancing out and equaling out in some really self-fulfilling, I'm hearing, and relieving ways. Some of you may have been dealing with a lack of reciprocity, for lack of a better term, or overall, we'll just call it that, a lack of equilibrium, a lack of reciprocity, a lack of balance between the give and take in your life because of some of the beliefs you may have held or just the nature of your reality in the past. But that's changing now because you are actively seeking ways to move forward in your life or to manifest something new in your life in terms of what actually resonates for you. Queen of Wands reversed, but then also Queen of Pentacles upright. Okay, and what is helping you change your alignment here in, in terms of your point of attraction, Queen of Wands in reverse, that which you would like to be receiving in your life, what you would like to be magnetizing towards you in your life is very much related to your, oh geez, <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? Sorry, what my land or somebody's drilling something or doing some work. I'm sorry if that dis distracts you. But that is very much in alignment with, with your greater sense of self-worth. Just to for just to keep it simple, your greater sense of self-worth, okay? Queen of Pentacles. Excellent. Let's close this out, Taurus. Closing message, please, Spirit, for my Taurans for this reading for the month of August and 2022 and beyond. Closing message for Taurus, please. All right. Okay. Okay, overall energy, you have a, quite a few. You have the Five of Pentacles as your overall energy. Woo, interesting. The Five of Swords just showed itself. That's interesting. The Five of Swords is underneath the Five of Pentacles. So there may have really been a time period of combativeness because of lack mentality in some way, or at least feeling neglected, unheard, unseen, or left out in the cold in some way. And then the deck split to the Ace of Cups. Underneath the Ace of Cups is the Hanged Man. So what's changing this energy, this Five of Pentacles, and then ultimately Five of Swords energy, is a level of self-love, unconditional love. I'm hearing self-respect that you have become gained an alignment with or gained an awareness of very much related to this Queen of Pentacles that is helping you enact your right to choose, a sense of, sense of love for self, okay? That's beautiful. You do have the King of Swords in reverse here as your closing energy, but then you have the Nine of Pentacles to, oh, look at that. There's the King of Wands. Taurus, your closing message here is excellent because you are giving up a sense of objectivity in terms of in relation to, well, this is how things have always been done or this is how things are always going to be or how all have always been. And that was very much lacking in a level of subjectiveness. And this is something that I was saying to Aries too. Subjective energy or a subjective mind frame really is not all that bad. At least at this point in what we're talking about here for you guys, for the collective, you really need a sense of subjective thinking or at least some semblance of a subjective point of view because that subjective point of view is very much unique to yourself. Again, look, Taurus, this is your life. Okay, and with this King of Swords in reverse here, I feel like you were giving up a lot of your subjective point of view for some reason for the collective somehow. Okay, keeping up with the status quo somehow. But it seems you're releasing that, you're letting go of that, and you're standing in a level of uh, autonomy and um, sovereignty, Nine of Pentacles. And so instead of 
just keeping with the status quo saying, well, it is what it is. I can only go this way. No, you're releasing that. You're standing in your sense of uh, personal freedom, nine of pentacles, and you're saying, I'm actually going to go after what it is that I want. King of wands. And that is very much in relation to this queen of wands energy in reverse. All right. So that's your closing message here. That's really excellent, Taurus. I love this for you. I really, really love this for you. Now, I want to make it very clear. That doesn't mean you're not going to continue to serve or take care of your family or those who you serve, those whom are in your circle, a part of your circle. But you are going to be doing it from a much more unique and and. Ooh, Spirit just said self-centered place, but I don't feel like that's like super, super selfish. You might want to be careful of that, but I don't really feel like that's the thing for you. Yes, it's self-centered, but it's not in a selfish or narcissistic way. It's in relation to who you, it is you are at this time in your life. All right, Taurus? I love this for you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive the construction sounds that you may be hearing but there you have it Taurus thank you so much for tuning in I hope this was helpful for you please make sure to smash that like button for me leave me a comment in the comments section down below uh, um, uh, subscribe yeah also if you'd like to get in a personal reading with me shoot me an email all of the information can be found in the description box below but with that said Taurus I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very very soon yes Beautimus. <laughs> Bye.